Can I level with you here? I used to think that smart home gadgetry and anything that was internet connected was just a gimmick to sell more stuff. But then I installed my first smart plug and now I'm addicted to smartening up my dumb house. If you wanna get started smartening up your own home, it's super easy. Here's five easy ways that you can smarten up your dumb house in not that much time. Number one, start with the lights. Friends, you don't have to tear apart your house just to install a connected thing. All you really have to do is install one of these connected bulbs into an open light socket in your house. These are so ridiculously easy to set up, especially those that don't use a hub. TP-Link, Eufy, and LifeX, which I'm holding here, are some of the brands that you should look at so that you can automate your home and do magic like this. Okay, Google, turn on hallway. Okay, turning on the hallway. It's magic. Number two, transform your power outlets. Do you love lamp? I love lamp. I love this lamp, but it's kind of dumb. And maybe you love something at home that's kind of dumb and you wish that you could automate it or turn it on with just the sound of your voice. Thankfully, there are smart plugs that I can plug it into to control it with an app or maybe even the sound of my voice. There are a lot of smart plugs out there on the market, some of which require a hub, but Belkin's Wemo and TP-Link smart plugs do not require that you have a hub to automate your things. All you have to do is plug one of these things into any standard outlet, then whip out the companion app and set it all up. Best of all, these also work with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Number three, recruit an assistant. At this point in time, you've likely heard of Alexa, unless you're living under a rock in Kentucky, in which case I have to ask, do you need assistance? You know who else can help you? Is the Amazon Echo, which allows you to interface with all of the connected devices in your house. The smart plugs, the smart light bulbs, all the little things that we've been telling you about. Or you can use the Google Home, which runs with Google Assistant, and it's just as effective. An assistant can do more than just turn on your connected stuff, though. It can play music, play podcasts, answer life's burning questions, help you cook, call your mom. Think of one of these kind of like Iron Man's Jarvis, a centralized computer system or a centralized brain that can control all of the connected things in your home. Number four, make your thermostat as green as it can be. What if I told you that you could easily cool off your house with just the touch of a button? Or that you could make it warm and toasty after a cold, blustery day? A smart thermostat can control your home's heating and cooling from virtually anywhere as well as set it to a schedule so that your appliances aren't working in overtime when you aren't even home. The best option on the market today is Nest Thermostat and the more economical Thermostat E. Both models enable you to control your home's heating and coolings with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. So if you're feeling too cold to get out of your warm cocoon, you can easily turn on the heat with just your voice. Okay, Google, turn the heat up. I've turned up your Nest Thermostat five degrees. Number five, bring it all together with a hub. Okay, so you've got all this connected stuff in your house, but you'd like to control it with one app. That's when a hub would come into handy, something like the Samsung SmartThings hub. This is one of the best and most established smart home hubs. It supports both third-party connected devices and its own range of sensors and plugs. You can use the Samsung Connect app to control those devices from a centralized place. You can check on their status, control them remotely, and even make routines based on your daily interactions. There's also the Wink Connected Home, which supports a wide range of standards and, like smart things, can be easily controlled via the Wink app on your phone. Best of all, both of these can be easily integrated with Google Home and the Amazon Echo. Think of the smart home hub as kind of like the heart of the operation. Whereas the assistants are the brains, all the connected stuff that you've got in your home, the bulbs, the plugs, anything else, those are like the appendages, and this little heart keeps all the blood pumping through those veins. For more on how to smarten up your house, be sure to visit digit.com or subscribe to us on YouTube. Subscribe here! There's more down here.